been preparing for such deployments uh, for the last several months actually uh, because we are looking for an international certification and we had two teams partially ready at two locations Ghaziabad 8th Battalion and Kolkata 2nd Battalion so we picked up the best people uh, the equipment that we require which is quite a long list because when the teams move they uh, have to be prepared for all kinds of situations which this kind of a disaster can bring forth and these two teams were then uh, documentation was done uh, in a very prompt fashion by the external affairs ministry passports official passports made issued forms filled teams collected ration tentage the uh, the ethos is that when we go to a situation like this and drf presumes that the local administration is already under a lot of stress so we presume that we should not be in additional stress on them and we should need nothing from them so the teams go prepared for a self sustained 15 day operation they carry their tentage they carry their rations so that if we are if we don't see anybody there only one person who points out a building to us or a set of buildings please work here we that's all we need so in this case we explored the possibility that whether transportation would be available when we reach which was not very clear still so we carried vehicles with us three vehicles with the first team which landed uh, left at 3 o'clock yesterday morning landed at 11 o'clock second team landed at 20 hundred hours in the evening a total of seven vehicles 101 rescuers including five lady rescuers who are doing really well in the force and they volunteered for this and they have gone maybe as a first to an international operation uh, including uh, four uh, canine uh, partners with us our four sniffer dogs so these teams are already in operation so one team landed at Adana, the first one, at 11 o'clock yesterday. And the second team was diverted to Urfa because Adana was crowded. So second team landed at about 20-45 hours, correcting myself, almost quarter to nine. And they have both been converged at the place you see, Nur Dagi, which is in uh, uh, Gazian Tep province, one of the worst affected areas. So they are both there right now and deployed. Uh, they are still living in tents. They uh, realized when they started ex ex assessing the damage there that the buildings they were entering and ex assessing uh, were still suffering from aftershocks, still shaky, unstable. So they have chosen to be in the open. The weather is, as mentioned by the Secretary West, that is, is harsh. Aside from the low temperatures, it's windy, snowfall, rainfall. Uh, but the teams are very well equipped. We quickly put together a very good uh, apparel for them from... Uh, whole of government approach, ITBP pitched in with their best attire for winter clothing. So they are comfortable and they started working. set up a, a special desk, a help desk uh, to receive and anticipate uh, such queries. Uh, we, we, we have received uh, calls from about 75 persons uh, asking the embassy for uh, more information or assistance. Uh, there are 10 individuals um, who are stuck in some remote parts of the affected areas, but they are safe. Uh, we have uh, one Indian national missing who was on a business uh, visit uh, uh, to Turkey and uh, in a place called Malatya.